So this is real quick a tutorial on how to set up clan labs. Uh, so I'm going to be using a serial code uh, that I got this 30 days and I got my group ID and the group ID goes to Salvador's Correctional Center right here. So I'm going to do the setup command. Uh, but first you have to be verified and you have to be the group owner and you have to own the discord. Otherwise it won't work. Uh, this is just for security reasons uh, to keep the wrong people from, you know, trying to set up to your clan and we only want the owners uh, setting this up so even if you bought the code you won't be able to do it you have to be the owner of pretty much everything so we're gonna give our serial ID and then our group ID and now do enter give it a moment and it's gonna be connecting to the database what it's doing right now is connecting to our host creating the user information and plugging in basically all the default information and when that's done we will move on and we'll show you how to do the rank command settings All right so now that's finished we're going to do the rank update because we have no ranks in our database right now so he's checking for everything All right. And it should be done in just a second. That might. All right, and I believe that's everything. So we're gonna do. No, it's it's still making more. So it, we'll move on. So we have a few uh, locked ranks right now, and they need to be disabled so that we can start having people moving up from XP. Like if you want people moving up, promoting with XP, we're gonna have to get rid of these locks. So the way we're going to get rid of these locks is C rank unlock and I'm going to do ID number one, ID five, ID 10. And that will be all I want to unlock for now. If you just see right here, it says the IDs and the amount of XP. We're going to set the XP in just a minute. So get rid of these, unlock them. All right. So now we're going to set the XP. So I'm going to do XP. I want the you're not going to set the first one because that's just the the main rank you get as soon as you enter the group. So we're going to get set fives to need 10. So now that rank's going to need 10. And we're going to set this one, this next one, rank 10, and they're going to need 25. So now if we do the rank command again, you'll see that now this rank needs 10, this rank needs 25. So that way, if you have just enough XP, you'll move up. And I'll show you how to add XP to a member. So go to XP, we're gonna type my name, or you can add it. So like, you can also do that instead. And we have a few options we can do, like we can do add, remove, um, we can do bulk. Uh, but we're, we're gonna just do add for now. It's gonna be, gonna be the easiest one. So we're gonna add 10 XP to me right here and real quick I'll show you um, with the help command a few of the other things you can be doing with it so like right here with the batch you can add, add XP to however much you want to different people or if you have a bunch of people you want to add maybe five to you can do bulk add to all these users bulk add or remove and it'll create an audit which we'll look at in just a minute. So do CXP. I don't have to type my name because I verified. And if you verify, uh, it allows you to see the information I'm, I'm about to show you in just a second. I'm not in this group, so it just says I'm guest, and it says I have 10 XP from what I just added. Uh, however much you need till the next rank. And my uh, my Roblox picture. Uh, but if you're verified, then you're going to be able to see this information. Or a anyone who's verified, uh, you'll see their identification. If they're verified, yes. Uh, what their Roblox is and their Discord. And that's really useful if you're trying to find out who's who. Uh, next, we have like the groups, whatever groups I'm in. If I'm in the allies or enemies, which uh, I am not for that. See, next we have medals. And I'll show you how to make a medal in just a moment. Uh, this is our audits, which I just added to this user right here on this day 
edit tin and we have warns and I'll show you warns in just a moment so next I'm gonna go over permissions real quick because you've seen I, I was able to add XP you need to be verified to add XP so uh, in case you don't know how to verify just do verify find out if you're verified if you aren't then you can just type in uh, your a username enter this code and just do done which I'm already verified so I'm gonna just do cancel alright so let's look at perm real quick we have uh, owners which is basically uh, someone who's able to do everything so like everything in this list basically run every command which these are subcommand configurations so I'll show you how to change one in just a moment uh, but uh, if you want to do owner it's based on uh, just the individual so I'm going to add myself so like perm owner add I'm gonna ping right there all right and now I'm added and I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly show you that I have a role well that was unexpected well, Discord broke real right there, so I'm just gonna move on. All right, now we're going to go to roles. I have a high com role, uh, and I'm also gonna add a. Maybe I wanted a junior officer, maybe no, or uh, let's do a cadet. We're gonna just add a generic cadet thing. Okay, so cadet. Now I'm going to show you real quick. Let's see, perm. I'm going to do high com, add high com because that's the name of the role. Um, we're going to do perm. We're going to do officer, add, and we're going to do our cadet. And now our cadet is added. So do perm. And you'll see here they are. You can add a supervisor. It's sort of like a mid rank between these two. Uh, it, it all comes down to what your configurations are. Uh, so real quick, maybe I want only a supervisor to warn. So I'm going to do C perm warn. And I'm going to change it to supervisor. So now only a supervisor can do it. We're going to look at that real quick. All right, go right here. All right, and if we find it, it's gonna say supervisor. Now only a supervisor can do that. Uh, so basically a warn, uh, I'll show you that real quick. Warn add text spectrum uh, passing the gate with a glitch. So I got a citation on me now. So what that citation is, if we view my profile again, With this slow internet, uh, we'll see that I have a citation ID in case I want to rem uh, an officer wants to remove it. But uh, I got the quote, uh, what I did, and the date, and who added it. Uh, so that's on my profile for everyone to see, uh, and along with my audits. So let's see what we're gonna go over next. We're gonna talk about uh, setting a custom prefix. So, C set prefix. If I wanted to do something else, say like a, a V. All right. Now we're going to go over uh, configuring some of the prefix settings. So, looking at that real quick. So, set experience. And I'll show you. Uh, we have an XP name. And we have limits to how much an officer can add, like, oh, like earlier. Um, say I'm an officer, I try to add 20 this is not going to let me it's going to basically turn it into 10 and we have bonus so if someone has if someone's verified you have verification enabled which will be a different video uh, this will add like that bonus XP to that user and if they discord boost this will give them boost like XP uh, whatever you put in so but right now we're just going to change the name uh, and I'll show you how to change the limit in just a second so set experience 
it's going to be name, and we're going to change it to Valor. We're going to set experience, name. I'm going to change my high comm to have more, like 200. And I accidentally changed name. Going to fix that. All right, so set experience limit high comm 200. Set experience. And we're going to do our bonus. And I want my bonus uh, to be, let's do primary. It's a primary, and I want them to get 5 XP. So if we look at this again, set experience, look at configurations, you see my changes are right here. Now, if we do, and if you notice, I've been using C the entire time. That's because if you anything messes up on your custom prefix, you can fall back to the normal one. So I'm going to do my new prefix and I'm going to do my new uh, XP name Valor. And you see they both work. And here it says Valor. Alright, now we're going to talk about, well I already shown you that, I'm going to show you how to change your progress bar real quick. So set progress. Let's see, the modes I want will be Oh wait, I did it wrong. Progress bar. Alright. So it's progress bar. You can see a preview. I'm gonna do check. I'm gonna do a circle. I want that circle to be blue. Progress bar empty. And I want that to be a gray. No 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 no. Or circle. I want that to be a empty circle. All right, now I'm going to view my name again. And you'll see it's now changed its image. And you can also do that with like custom uh, emotes too if you want. Showing you blacklist. I'm going to show you blacklist real quick. So say someone does something wrong, like major, and you don't want them to ever progress in your group, you just use blacklist. So blacklist, add uh, text direction, the Roblox name, and um, mass exiled maybe alright then that means if you go to here blacklist uh, you'll see the date that the blacklist was added and what for link to the group and their ID so now if I do XP it's gonna say I'm blacklisted and what then the reason for it but it's also gonna show me my information uh, in case someone needs to look anything up and so that's really useful if you don't want certain people progressing Alright, now the API. The API is going to be a different video, but I'll show you real quick how to enable it. So, like right here, we have it disabled. API enable. And if you remember earlier, going right back up, see if I can find it, we have API. That means the API is going to only be allowed to add a certain amount, not a crazy amount, otherwise, it'd be locked down. So, with that, we can do C API get and we'll have our credentials uh, DM to us or right here by the bot going real quick and channel perms maybe I only want this channel to have uh, to, to be able to run the command so I'll do channel uh, disable all and now channel enable and now this command I mean, this channel is enabled for commands, so we can run commands here now. All right, and lastly, I'll show you welcome. So, see, so welcome. And we got a preview of what it's going to look like as soon as a player joins. Uh, make sure it's enabled, so enable it. And now we're going to change our message. I'm going to go to group. If you view group, uh, if you have any problems, like maybe something that's not promoting, check this first. See if it's what rank it is, if it's not in the group or not, and what the account is. And you can see your basic information, kind of like your Discord, if we were to visit them, and when your group is expiring. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put this information as the welcome. So, see, welcome, message, and I'm going to put that right here. Now, whenever they join, this is what they're going to see. 
Now, quick note, if there's more you want to know about a command, do the help. Uh, just look through everything. Uh, viewer changes here and videos as they come will go on here. Here's the old one. It's not quite going to work the same as, well, the new bot requires because that one's about two years old. So basically that's the basic setup. Um, demote, promote, those also require it. Uh, verification, set rank requires verification and you can shout. Uh, but I can't shout to this group. Uh, we don't have a bot in it. But that that's the main settings. And if you want to know more, say like, I want to know how to add a metal, which, oh yes, we have to talk about how to add a metal. So let's look at metal real quick. So we have no metals, so metal add um, valiant. Let's do valiant real quick. See, now we got a metal right here. And we're going to change its uh, image. So metal emote. Uh, you always have to type the ID. So what I want is to do a shield. And again, you can also do custom emotes. Um, and now metal description 419 did a good job let's see and now if we just go to metal all right now we have a updated metal and i'm going to award it to myself just remember award and unaward uh don't do remove uh, otherwise you'll delete the the metal from the database. So metal award 419, uh, go to tech spectrum. So it's gonna award to me. So now if I view XP, which I'm still blacklisted, it's gonna see, because I did a max exile. Now we're gonna go to our metals and you'll see that I have Valiant. Right. And if you want to know more about what you can do, for example, go to help, metal, and you'll see all this information, like description, emote, change the name, and everybody gets a medal. Uh, so thank you for following this video. That's, uh, that's about everything. Uh, we'll have more later. Uh, if you have any questions, just go to Clan Labs. Um, make sure that Info center, there's nothing in info center that uh, really helps you. If, if, if you can't find uh, information you need from here, go to support tickets. Uh, find out which uh, ticket you need to do. Like maybe you need the bot in your account, or maybe we need a process of purchase. Uh, you didn't get your code, something like that. Or you need help with your group setup in case this video doesn't help you. Then you can just like click the emote and it will make a channel. Alright, with that, thank you for watching and thank you for choosing Clan Labs.